Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Kim Productions and welcome to a brand new Hearts of Iron 4 modding tutorial. So first off, you guys might notice a little bit of a difference in my sound quality and that's because I actually dropped my old microphone and completely screwed it up. So I had to buy a brand new one and I just got it in the mail today. So that's why I'm recording this video for you all. Uh, hopefully it's better, um, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's, let's just go ahead and um, get along with this video. So today we are going to be using Mini Vera, I think, uh, their focus tree and event manager. You can find the link in the description below. And um, when you open it up, it should look something like this. So what I always do is put mine on English, of course, because I speak uh, English as my primary language. Under my path to game files, I put it under the mod folder. So when you save it, uh, well, like automatically, um, like go to the mod folder so you can save there. Uh, also under my coding preference, I put it on editor. Scripter is just kind of weird. It's kind of, uh, I, I don't know. I don't like it. I like the editor, which is kind of like just regular code. Uh, but the scripter, you can try it out if you would like. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project here. And you will you'll see this screen it's a little bit confusing at first but what does this program do so essentially it takes what you would have to do here and all of this work and it does it for you with a GUI so yeah it's it's really nice but it's really buggy and there are some things about it that I really don't like and I hope that it gets fixed so I'm gonna show you all of that today First off, uh, don't mess with localizations, events, or generic scripts. Do not touch these. They are prone to crash. And right now, in its current state, it just doesn't work very well, okay? Under the focus tree, though, if we right-click, we can create a new element and uh, rename it. Let's say we're going to do a France focus tree, okay? You can name that to anything, but I'm just naming it to France. Um, now when you click on it and then you click on the tab up here, it takes you to this thing. So at the top you'll see country tag and ours is France because we are doing this for France. Um, and then that's it. So what you want to do when you're here is right click and click add new focus. This will pop up and then you can name your focus. Um, so I'll do France. Um, industry one something like that right then this is the position you can drag it around don't worry about it uh, this cost in days you always have to change this to 10 or 12 or whatever um, so it's just seven or a week times the amount of weeks you want it to take that's kind of annoying I wish it would default at 10 there's no setting to do that but uh, this is in like a beta stage so hopefully it'll get better over time so we're going to encounter our first bug here. Uh, so if I click um, change the image, you must select an image here. If you click this X, it will crash. Um, so if you accidentally click it, just re-click your image. Um, so like if I just clicked it again, you got to re-click the image. Do not click that X button. <laughs> I'm begging you, okay? Um, then under the internal script, this is the editor. So for begin industry, um, I'm just going to take this focus over here basically and I'm going to say uh, yes, I want it to be available if capitulated and I want my completion reward to be uh, add the tech bonus, okay? So basically everything after your cost you have to put in um, and you only put in the syntax necessary for your code so you don't need to add these extra down here I believe it's syntax I don't know then you click accept you can't do control s you have to click accept and then accept and there you go there's your first focus so you can drag it around do whatever with it it's uh it's pretty nice I really do love this GUI this is what I made uh, the United Kingdom focus tree in Napoleonic world with I made it with this that's why it's a lot bigger and more expansive and I don't know, I just really, really like this. And someone actually mentioned this program to me in the comments, but it's really, really weird and hard to find. So that's why I'm going to leave you guys a link in the description. Now, I am warning you, with the most recent version, 
it completely just crashed for me. So under that, I'm going to leave you another link to the uh, version I'm using here, which is a little bit of an older beta, but it works for me. There's not as many crashes and it doesn't crash like on startup, basically. So hopefully this one will work for you. Hopefully the new one will work for you, but it doesn't work for me. So once we do that, we're just going to do add new focus again, and I'm going to show you guys um, like some of the features in this besides just creating these focuses. So we're going to do France like civilian one. OK, remember your days and then I'm going to change this to, I don't know, civilian. Then under my internal script, um, civilian. OK, so this is. Uh, from my Napoleonic world mod so yes we want it available if capitulated and uh, we want all of oh we want all of this don't we yep okay all right so we want all of that and if you guys are having trouble like writing out all of this code I really recommend you go into the main game files and you pick out uh, national focus trees there and I'll give you a lot of ideas on what to do you can also really just copy and paste the code um, that's what I do for a lot of my stuff and it's not that big of a deal it works and uh, yeah so an accept accept and now you have another focus another thing I'd like in this um, program to see is like a copy and paste focuses and then you just change the name because right now it's when you're making like three civilian three arms three docks whatever it's really really hard well not hard it's just time consuming to do three 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 all right let's go ahead and make another one here we're gonna do uh france then we're gonna do arms one all right and i'm gonna change this to the arms factory and under here I'm going to do arms all right and then available if, if capitulated yes and this goes down to there cool there we go that's it also as you continue to get more focuses I've gotten up to about 60 it really does start to lag and you'll notice it like start to slow down and stuff like that but um, you know it works and I like it using it. I use it for everything now. And, uh, and by everything, I mean all of my national focuses, no events, no nothing like that, because that crashes, which is really, really disappointing because I would love to use the events. So now I'm just going to do like arms two. Uh, that's not the one button. OK, now we're just going to select, I don't know, arms again. And then in here, we're going to paste the code. All right, so now we have a few things. So we have our top one. We have two different um, national focuses down here and another civilian. So how do we get these to uh, have the lines and stuff like that? So select your uh, national focus, right click it, do required prerequisite or optional prerequis prerequisite. So I'm gonna show you all of this. So for this, we're going to do required and we're going to select uh, the one on top. So this means that you need industry one to get to civilian one, uh, which we want. Um, you can also cut this right here and get rid of it, but we're going to do that. OK, we're also going to do the same for arms. So now once you get industry one, you can get arms one or civilian one. Now we want the player to choose between arms or civilian so that's mutually exclusive so if we right click do mutually exclusive with and select the arms and then also for this focus down here uh, I want you to be able to do it if you picked either of these so we're gonna have an optional prerequisite which becomes a mandatory one if you only have one but if you do another there we go now we have the dotted lines so let's go ahead and save that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and import it into the the YouTuber mod that we made. All right, everyone. So we are back in our YouTuber mod here. It doesn't look like it because I have together for victory on, but we're back. Um, so let's go ahead and select our country. So now we're going to go with France because we did the France country. 
And uh, one thing I wanted to note, it does not do the localization, so you need to do that uh, manually. Um, so yeah, do that in the file that we covered previously. If you guys want to see the last tutorial and maybe not use something as uh, buggy, you can check that out in the link below through the playlist and you can learn a ton of other things about modding. Uh, but we're going to focus on this, this program. So if we go to National Focus, we can see we have our National Focus tree. So this is 50% research bonus for industry, military factory, civilian factory, military factory. If we do um, focus dot auto um, complete just like that with a capital A and C we can select this okay so let's say we want to do arms now we can't do civilian and we can do arms too because we did the optional there we go pretty cool I think uh, once again if you did want to um, like get the localization you'd have to go in and do a uh, uh, for Indus, what, industry like that whatever and then do this right so industry looks right yeah okay so you'd have to do this kind of stuff and do that for the whole tree um, but yeah I think that's all I wanted to show you with this uh, hopefully I can come back one day and do events but um, if you did something like this and then like that uh, there we go so yeah stop working and then when you load it again because we didn't save it if I did the focus tree and then I added a new focus here let's go ahead and make this box a little bit bigger and I click change and I clicked X it stops working so it can be really buggy and even sometimes it can mess up your syntax and then you have to go in the file and uh, fix the error um, it works most of the time and I use it so it has the potential to slow down your work but it's it's also really nice when it does work so I recommend you go ahead and try it out for your own mod but uh, leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy this modding tutorial um, next will be some Kaiserreich and then I'll probably do another one of these for something else but until next time take care Bye-bye.